my dear african ancestors this is africa we live i'm taking this trip to come to speak to you and to tell you what is going on in your mother continent africa my father my ancestor kwame kuluma you told africa to unite to have one army to have one judiciary to have one government but till today i speak africa is not united when i look at this mountain i remember you my ancestor and i say i speak to you mwalimu julius kambarage nyerere you told us that our unity not will make us strong but our unity will make us not easy to be manipulated i remember you as i'm here with this speed of water which i see and with this cover of green mountain i remember you my father and ancestor thomas isdor sankara when you told us that the man who feed you controls you today africa we are fed by others we are eating fish from china while as you look at this we have water where we can create dams and well and we can keep fish but still we are eating fish from china as i speak to you my ancestor from congo patis emilumumba you told us that the time will come when africa will light their own history and what i'm doing here i'm just lighting african history i come on front of you to speak to you to seek help for africa africa is not at ease as i speak to you now there's no ease in ethiopia there's no rest in mali as i speak to you i hope our founding father you have join with Johnny Pombe Magufuli the man who told us that without loan we can build our lord without loan we can build our railway our ports without you can be a leader without going to europe i remember you my ancestor Johnny Pombe Magufuli I remember you Nelson Mandela of South Africa who told that who said to us that we must forgive we have forgiven those who have make bad things for us but still as i told you there's no easy in South Africa the people who are coming from other co- countries are called foreigner but you told us that there's no foreigner in africa african cannot be a foreigner in african country as i speak to you african ancestors as you see this water is flowing the same as the tears of african flowing africans those country who have resources these are their tears they are not benefit from their resources last week we have heard and seen watching television several chinese companies has been stopped from operating in congo for being working or having a mine illegally they didn't pay tax they pollute our environment they distract our water bodies 
your people have lost their land in the hands of investors who didn't pay even tax. I'm here to speak to you fellow Africans and to tell you that the time has come for Africa to know what we want, to have a single mission, to have one vision, to come together as Africans. When Kwame Nkrumah told Africa that we need to unite, he has the meaning. He knows that he knew and he was a prophet. As I speak to you, just imagine if Kwame Nkrumah was from other continent. Maybe today we are talking about Prophet Kwame Nkrumah. But because he was coming from Africa, his dreams in, in, and his prophets, it looks like a story in the book or in the books of sadness. So let me say something to you Africans. As you look, this water is flowing. God has been given us these all things. And God knew that Africa, we can use these resources for our lives. But Africa, we didn't use these resources for our life. Africa, we are learning from our continent. Even the trees as know that this is a place where they can grow this is a place where there is water they can come and grow the trees and the grasses cannot grow in desert because they knew and they know that there's no water there but africa we are learning from our continent we are learning away from africa to seek green pasture in other continent and we forget that the, the one who will build Africa is we Africans. How can we build Africa when we are far from? We are far from our homes and we are trying to, to cross Mediterranean Sea to seek green pasture. Just ask yourself how many lives of Africans have been lost when they are trying to learn away from Africa? Why are you learning away from Africa? Why God given everything? God has been created you to live in Africa. God is not crazy to keep you here in Africa, but still you are learning away. My message to you is that we need to come together. Africa is our continent. No one will come from outside and build your continent. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Africa. My dear ancestors, African ancestors, I hope you have heard my voice. And that is the reality. I have many things to talk to you. But let me for today end it here. I knew and I know how Africans are suffering in their own continent. How Africa we are exchanging our resources with papers that we call money. This is Africa. I wish in my lifetime to see better Africa. Africa which is good and Africa which have, has peace and love. Thank you for watching.